What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is software update day. We have a lot to get into. Let's get started. Now the update sizes on these updates as you will see in this video will be large at full reinstall sizes because of the fact that we're jumping um, from betas to release candidates or from public release to release candidate builds which require full installs. The size will be smaller. I encourage you to check out um, my tech Twitter page. Now is called X Tech Page. I guess you could call it that. Um, I will post screenshots of the actual sizes. It'll probably be about two gigs for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively, and stuff like that. So I encourage y'all to check that out. Um, but without further ado, let's get started with what's new in iOS 18. And if you're not upgrading to iOS 18, 17.7. We're gonna start off with iOS 17.7. Uh, it's just a minor big bug fixes and uh, improvements. Like I said, see, it's large, so it will be like maybe 200 mags, 300 mags, if you're on 17.6.1 or older, depending on when you upgrade to 17.7 and stuff like that. But it's just minor bug fixes in case if you don't want to go to 18 just yet. Now, of course, I'm pre-recording, like I said, in my live stream. You did not catch my live stream. Um, on the iPhone 11, you can see the wallpaper's kind of like, the time's kind of grayed out. I rebooted the phone, and it came back to normal. Let's hope that either 17.7 or 18 fixes that weird bug that does occur. doesn't happen all the time, but a little nitpicking bug for me. But, um, hey, it is what it is. But let's get into iOS 18, what's new. All right, so as y'all can see, it came in at 7 gigs exactly. 7 gigs. I remember when iOS updates were 6, 5 gigs. Now they're getting big. But um, it's a full install, like I said, release candidate build c coming from iOS 18 uh, latest beta build to the public release. It's going to be it's gonna be big. So let's get started. So if you're new to the channel, we use a screen reader called VoiceOver to read through the release notes because it's easier on my eyes because of my visual impairment and stuff like that. So we're going to get started with tapping on this little learn more. About this update. Hey. And about this update. Done. Home screen. All right. So we're going to start off with home screen. Now the speaking rate should be good enough. I'm not going to slow it down anymore. It's at 60%, but here we go. Bullet. Lift start. This is the home screen. Flexible arrangement to place app icons and widgets in any open position on the home screen, such as along the bottom or off to the side, to create the ideal layout for each page. So you can create an ideal layout for each page. Android has had this feature, but now, like I said, in my live podcast that I did where um, we were having the iPhone 16 live party, that this is the thing that is nice now about iOS 18. Bullet. Dark icons give your home screen look a darker aesthetic and can automatically adjust when your iPhone enters dark mode or always appear dark. So you could always do the appear dark or dark mode when you have the actual like system-wide dark mode enabled and stuff like that. And you can program it based off of each individual home screen slash lock screen wallpaper setup. So you could have one that even though you have dark mode system-wide, you can still have the icons in light mode because the wallpaper is in a light mode. Um, really nice and really customizable. Bullet. Color tinting lets you apply any color to add icons and widgets, or have iOS suggest a color that complements your wallpaper. Yeah, so you could do color tinting. I don't really, I, I haven't really dug with it because it was buggy in the betas, but I'll mess with it with the release candidate. Bullet. Larger icons allow you to make all the app icons and widgets on your screen appear larger, removing the name underneath. List end. Okay, so this is actually interesting. Some people don't like it. I do, because I don't always need to know what app it is by its name, because I just don't, so I could just turn that off and leave it to large icons and hello just the icons no no app name photos all right so now we're going to get into photos now photos did strike during the beta as a budget controversy on liking or disliking the new bait new photo so they adjusted it but here we are bullet with photos app redesign features the biggest update ever with a simplified layout that puts everything into a single view all right simple view which is nice bullet Collections automatically organize your library by helpful topics that you can browse in a collage, grid, as a memory, or on a map. Nice. Bullet. Customization options let you reorder, add, and remove collections rows, and add just the items you want to pin collections to keep within easy reach. That's actually pretty nice. Bullet. Groups and people and pets include photos of your favorite people or pets who frequently appear together. Cool. Bullet. Trips automatically organizes your travels and the collections so you can relive each trip. Yeah, I've been getting notifications about the whole trip thing because it's it's it, it was putting my um, Texas trip all into like a memory kind of thing, which is actually pretty nice, but random because I took photos of random stuff at times. Bullet. 
Recent days let you view your recent photos organized by day without clutter like screenshots. Oh, thank God. Well requested feature. Bullet. Filter button in the grid helps you reduce clutter by filtering to specific media types, your favorites, or by hiding screenshots from the view. Yay, because I take a lot of screenshots. Bullet. Video speed control lets you slow down high frame rate video content within NL points. Yeah, because of the new iPhone 16 Pros when they can record at 4K 120 FPS. Bullet. Utilities includes additional helpful collections like documents, receipts, QR codes, and more, and items you've recently edited, viewed, and shared. Nice. Of course, we always have to have the receipts. Bullet. Recovered album and utilities surfaces images that are on your device but were not previously visible due to database corruption in a locked album. List end. Oops. That that that's actually a nice feature in case if you always had if you ever had the um corrupted album stuff, that's actually nice. Messages, bullet, list start. Messages. Alright. I said it and I'm glad this is here. Messages via satellite lets you message friends and family when you're without cellular or Wi-Fi connection by connecting to a satellite in space, iPhone 14 and later. Nice. Bullet. Text effects bring your conversations to life by visually amplifying any letter, word, phrase, or emoji in iMessage with dynamic, animated effects like explode, ripple, and nod. Yeah, I've done that before. I drove Lavendi crazy because it was shaking at uh, um, random times. Bullet. Text formatting lets you add bold, underline, italics, and strike through to any letter, word, or phrase in iMessage. More customization between um, effects and writing. This is actually really good. Bullet. Emoji and sticker tapbacks allow you to react to a message using any emoji or sticker, giving you access to the tapbacks you and your friends said the most with just a swipe. Yes, I do like the tapbacks where I could react with a face with tears of joy emoji, grinning face, you know, any emoji I want without the default system, haha, exclamation point, question mark, and thumbs up, thumbs down, and then the heart emoji. Bullet. Send later enables you to compose a message now and schedule it to send later. Okay. With me doing some stuff with some people and scheduling things for business clients and stuff like that, the schedule later so far, I've used it a few times. It's actually nice. You can schedule up to two weeks in advance from the last time I checked. Bullet. RCS messaging support includes delivery and read receipts, higher resolution photos and videos for messaging people without an iPhone and requires carrier support. List end. Okay. So that does require carrier support with the RCS. Um, and most U.S. carriers and MVNOs do support that in the United States. Control Center. All right, Control Center changed a lot, as y'all have seen in my videos. Bullet. List redesigned Control Center features convenient groups of controls, the ability to arrange controls just the way you want, and support for controls from third-party apps. So you can get rid of your airplane mode, cellular data, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, control toggles, the stuff that you weren't able to get rid of, you can now get rid of. You can customize it to whatever the, whatever you, whatever you please. Bullet. Groups of controls can be accessed by continuously swiping from the right edge, including your most used controls, home controls, media playback and connectivity, with the option to build out entirely new groups too. Yep, nice. Bullet. Controls gallery displays the full set of available controls, including controls from third-party apps that you can add right into the group you choose. Yep, and you can search to add that um, control quicker instead of just browsing through the gallery. Bullet. Resizable controls let you drag from the lower right of a control from within control center. List end. Nice. Lock screen. Bullet. Lock screen. All right, lock screen. We finally get some nice, good customization within lock screen. Bullet. Custom lock screen controls let you choose controls from the controls gallery from your favorite apps. So you can get rid of flashlight and uh, camera now. So you don't have to have that anymore by system defaults. Thank God. Bullet. Action button can be customized with controls from the controls gallery. iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. And iPhone 16 models. Bullet. Font options allow you to customize the time with 12 numeral scripts in Arabic, Arabic Indic, Bangla, Devanagari, Gujarati, Gurmukhi, Kannada, Malayalam, Mithi, Odia, Alchiki, and Telugu. List end. All right, so there's a lot of stuff with that. Um, Tom butchered uh, some of it, but okay. At least we got that good customization for everyone. Browser. All right, so I nicknamed mine Browser, but Safari. Bullet. List distraction control helps you hide items on a web page that you find disruptive to your browsing. <clears throat> Goodbye, advertisements. Bullet. Highlight surface key information from the web page you're visiting with summaries, locations, and more. Nice. Bullet. Redesigned Reader offers even more ways to enjoy articles with a streamlined view of the article you're reading, a summary, and a table of contents for longer articles. List end. Good. Passwords. All right, passwords. I like this. It's now its own app. Bullet. List passwords app lets you see all your credentials for websites and apps in one place, making it even easier to access your passwords, passkeys, Wi-Fi passwords, and verification codes. Nice. Bullet. Verification codes for two-factor authentication can be set up right in passwords, so you can easily copy them or autofill them into Safari without opening an authenticator app. That's actually really nice, because Ubiquity just started requiring 2FA requirements. Bullet. 
Secure syncing ensures your account saved and password sync seamlessly with iCloud with end-to-end -end encryption, so you can access them on your other devices. Yep. Bullet. Windows support through the iCloud passwords app, so you can access your passwords on Windows devices. List end. I know the people that have Windows computers are probably cheering in the background about time Apple did that. And yes, I agree with y'all. Maps. All right, here we go. Maps. Bullet. List topographic maps display features like trails, contour lines, elevation, and points of interest. Nice. Bullet. Pikes are available across all U.S. national parks and can be saved to your device to access while offline. Cool. So if you want to just get off the grid and not use cell data, you can do that. Bullet. Custom walking and hiking routes can be created with just a few taps for hikes in the park, regular exercise routines in your neighborhood, walking tours while on vacation, and more. All right. Bullet. Places library combines all your saved places, guides, and hiking routes into one location for easy access. List end. Nice. So there's a good amount of stuff on Apple Maps, which is actually really nice. I don't use it, but... Um, if you like hiking and stuff like that, especially when the weather gets cooler in the southern United States, that's actually really nice to have, especially during the fall and, uh, you know, spring times when the weather is actually pretty good. And then, of course, if you live in Florida when, during winter, when Florida decides to actually be spring all year round. Gaming. All right, gaming. I don't know how to feel about gaming on iOS. Bullet. Game mode minimizes background activity to sustain the highest frame rates and dramatically improves responsiveness with wireless accessories like game controllers and AirPods. List end. Nice. Bullet. So there's just one thing with the gaming. Bullet. List tap to cash lets you exchange Apple Cash quickly and privately without sharing phone numbers or email addresses just by holding your phones together. Okay, this is actually gonna be a nice. This is actually a nice feature, and I wonder what the limitations on how much money you could actually transfer between two phones. Um, but I'm glad this is going to be out to the public because sometimes sending stuff via Zelle is nice, but um, and or other payment services like Cash App and PayPal. But tapping each other's phone is actually pretty interesting. Bullet. New past designs have a beautiful new look and great new features, including a new event guide with helpful information about the venue and smart recommendations from your favorite Apple apps. Nice. Bullet. New ways to pay with installments and rewards on supported credit and debit cards when you check out with Apple Pay online and in apps. List end. Okay, good. So not just Apple's own credit card with the Apple card. Journal. Bullet. List start. All right, so they did some stuff with journal. I know they introduced it last year, but here we are. State of bullet. State of mind can be logged right from within journal, and emotions or mood logged in the health app are included in journaling suggestions. Okay, so more compatibility with journal with the state of mind and then it's also logged in the health app so you can keep track of your health even more than ever bullet insights view shows your writing streaks a calendar and other fun stats that help you track your journaling goals okay and some people like doing this the the writing stuff so that's why this is here which is actually really nice you know especially if you like writing a lot bullet search lets you easily find past entries and the ability to sort shows your entries in your preferred order Okay, that, I don't know why they waited till 18 to introduce that. That should have been there since day one, to be fair. Bullet. Widgets for your home screen and lock screen show your current streak or writing prompts that change throughout the day, so you can reflect on what's going on in the moment. List end. Okay, that's actually really nice, so if you want to reflect on that in the moment, that's, that's really nice to have. Phone. All right, here's the phone app. Bullet. List. Recent call search helps you find previous calls, voicemails, and contacts using phone numbers, names, or even a word transcribed from a voicemail. Oh, that's actually pretty cool, especially the word transcribed via a uh, voicemail. Bullet. Keypad search helps you quickly find and call existing contacts by typing in their number or name on the alphanumeric keypad. Yay! Thing that, a feature that has been on Android. Finally on iPhone. Bullet. Automatic mic mode picks the right mic mode for you, toggling between voice isolation, wide spectrum, and standard mode depending on your environment. List end. Oh, interesting. I was wondering how that mic mode thing worked, but I didn't really mess with it. So if you're in a loud environment, it goes automatically to voice isolation. Okay, nice. Privacy. Privacy. Bullet. List start. Locked apps let you protect your sensitive apps and the information inside them by requiring face ID, touch ID, or your passcode to open them and hiding the content from search, notifications, and other places across the system. People requested this, and it's finally here. You're welcome. Bullet. Hidden apps have the same protections as locked apps, plus they are placed in a new hidden apps folder that is locked, and you won't receive notifications or calls from the app. Ooh, nice. Bullet. Improved contacts permission empower you to choose which contacts to share with an app. Okay, that's actually pretty nice. Bullet. Improved Bluetooth pairing lets developers offer a seamless pairing experience while protecting your privacy. List end. Cool. AirPods. All right, AirPods. Bullet. List. Hands-free Siri interactions let you respond to Siri announcements with AirPods by simply nodding your head yes or shaking your head no. My AirPods feel old right now. Literally by just hearing that where you can nod your head yes or no to answer or decline a call. Ugh, I feel broke. Bullet. Voice isolation on AirPods Pro provides clearer call quality for those you are speaking with, even in windy conditions or places with loud background noise. About time. 
I mean, the shocks have had this, but about time the AirPods get it. Bullet. Personalized spatial audio for gaming with AirPods puts you in the middle of the action with sound that surrounds you combined with a new API for developers. That makes it easier than ever to enable. List end. Interesting. So that's that's what's new with the AirPods. Apple TV app. All right, Apple TV app. I don't have an Apple TV, but I don't also use the TV app, but here we are. Bullet. List inside delivers real-time information for every live action Apple TV plus movies. It shows that complements what you're watching on screen. Nice. Bullet. Enhanced dialogue enables you to hear what's being said on screen more clearly, especially when loud effects or music is playing. Bullet. More dynamic subtitles automatically appear at just the right times, like when the content language doesn't match your device language, when you mute the audio, or when you skip back while watching a program. List end. Hmm. Interesting. So when, when it doesn't match your device language, so like if you're watching a movie or a TV show and something in like, um, I don't know, Spanish or Greek was on, but your, your primary language is English, I guess it does like transcripts on the device. Notes. All right, now here we are in notes because we had journaling, but now here's notes. Bullet. List audio recordings can be started right from inside a note and kept with related comments, checklists, and documents. All right, nice. Bullet. Live transcription show as you record audio, and transcripts are fully searchable so you can always find what you need. iPhone 12 and later. All right. Bullet. Math and notes let you enter expressions and equations in your note to have them solve instantly. Oh, the schools really love this feature. <laughs> Not. Bullet. Collapsible sections help you simplify and hide text in long notes. Just tap next to a section header to lighten up your most text-heavy notes. Bullet. Highlight text in your note with a choice of five colors allows you to make your text stand out. List end. Okay. So, some nice stuff. Um, voice recordings via notes, which is nice in case you just want to jot something down and you don't feel like writing it out. Accessibility. All right. So, for my accessibility on it, of course, I'm using one of the accessibility features called VoiceOver. Bullet. With eye tracking makes it possible for people to control iPhone with just their eyes. iPhone 12 and later in iPhone SE, third generation. Okay, so iPhone SE, third generation, and iPhone 12 or later with the eye tracking. Man, there's been conspiracy theories online, but I'm not going to get into them. But um, I'm curious how it would behave if you had one other accessibility feature like voiceover enabled. I didn't test it during the betas, but I want to test it now. Bullet. Music haptics syncs the iPhone taptic engine with the rhythm of songs so those who are deaf or hard of hearing can enjoy the Apple Music catalog, iPhone 14 and later. Okay, that that is cool. Like, I used it. It was actually pretty cool. Some people were wondering how it's going to affect the haptic motor over time, if it's going to cause it to wear out. I don't know. But um, it would be interesting to see how that is. But it, I like how Apple is accommodating for someone with hard of hearing or deaf to keep up with the music rhythm and the feeling of the song based off of haptics instead of other, you know, like with other effects. Bullet. Vocal shortcuts help people with severe atypical speech record custom utterances that trigger specific actions. Okay, so if someone has a speech impediment, um, a, a bad one, they can enable this and um, having speech shortcuts within accessibility settings. Bullet. Vehicle motion cues can help reduce motion sickness for passengers and moving vehicles by placing dots on the screen they move with a vehicle without interfering with content. List end. Oh, nice. So there's a way to help reduce vehicle sickness. This release also includes other features and improvements. All right, so this update also includes other features and improvements. Let's see what else is in this update. And, of course, you can find it by digging through the software. And um, I'll leave a link to all the stuff down below. But let's get started. Bullet. With emergency SOS live video enables you to share streaming video and recorded media during emergency calls with participating U.S. emergency operators. iPhone 14 and later. This is why the RCS got at it because of the whole E911 um communication bridge with the uh, video recordings and live video bullet math notes and calculator let you evaluate expressions assign variables and even create graphs on iphone bullet calendar lets you create view edit and complete reminders alongside with your events that's nice bullet recently deleted list and reminders lets you view and retrieve deleted reminders bullet screen sharing and share play lets you tap and draw on someone's screen or ask for permission to remotely control their iphone and take actions yourself so the remote control of iPhone, I wanted to say something about this accessibility department side. VoiceOver is not accessible. So if a blind person wanted to access someone else's iPhone that is also blind and they have VoiceOver enabled, unless they fixed in the last two betas, I um, it wasn't accessible when I was screen sharing with someone, but I'll test it to confirm later. Bullet. Scenes and Freeform allow you to organize your content into sections, then save, label, and order them as you like. Nice. Bullet. Redesigned Fitness Plus makes it easy to find personalized recommendations or search for something specific. Okay, so the Fitness Plus. Bullet. Guest access in home app lets you provide visitors with date and time based access to locks, garage doors, and alarm systems. Nice. Bullet. Electricity usage and rate plan information in home app are displayed for eligible customers when connecting their utility account, starting with Pacific Gas and Electric Company in California. So they're starting with that company. 
I hope they add mine next. Vertical scroll bar. I hope they add mine next because I would like to have that. All right, so here we are. Repair assistant prompts you to configure the genuine Apple parts replaced on your device after a repair. iPhone 12 and later. List huh. Down. Interesting. Some features may not be available for all regions. So, of course, some features may not be available on all regions or on all Apple devices. Visit HTTPS Go. And I'll leave a link to that down below. And then, of course, the security updates are. Some features may not be available for all regions or on all iPhone models. HTTP empty list. So there you go. I'll leave both of these links down below so you can go browse through them and stuff like that. It's a jam-packed iOS update. 18 is pretty big. Um, I liked it when I was testing it in the betas. But, um, stuff, you know, it was nice. I'm going to look through the iPad OS 18 release notes see if I'm going to add it to this video. If not, we're going to jump to watch OS 11 probably next. Like I said throughout this video, the size will be a um, bit different. Here it is about 1.7 gigs. And um, here's what's new in watch OS 11. I am not covering iPad OS because it's the same release notes. Basically, it's iOS 18 with... Um, added iPad features because it's an iPad. All right, here we are. Watch OS 11 brings powerful health and fitness insights, along with even more personalization, intelligence, and ways to stay connected to the world's most popular watch. It has new experiences that provide deeper insights into your daily health status and help you understand the impact of your workouts over time. Watch OS 11 uses the power of machine learning to help you easily create the perfect photos. Watch face in the smart stack becomes even more intelligent and capable with suggested widgets, interactive widgets, and live activities. To further support your fitness journey, you can now adjust your activity ring goals by day of the week or even pause them for a rest day. Watch OS 11 also includes check-in, the Translate app. No Ooh, you can pause them now? That's nice. I like that. Ways to support you during pregnancy, sleep apnea notifications, and more. Vitals. All right, we're going to start with vitals. Bullet. View your overnight health metrics like heart rate, respiratory rate, wrist temperature, blood oxygen, and sleep duration in one convenient location. Nice. Bullet. See each metric classified as typical or out of your typical range for insights on your daily health status, with outliers highlighted in a bold pink color. Bullet. Night sky. Receive notifications when fewer or more metrics are outside of your typical range and review relevant information to better understand how these changes may be linked to other lifestyle factors. List end. Fitness. Bullet. List start. Track the impact of the intensity, based on average ratings, and the duration of your workouts have on your body over time with training load. Bullet. Night. Review estimated effort ratings automatically provided after completing popular cardio workouts, including running, cycling, swimming, hiking, and more. Bullet. Night. See how your effort is categorized into one of four effort labels, easy, moderate, hard, and all of them modified to match your perception of the effort required to complete the workout. Bullet. Night. Include distance as an in-session metric for a wider variety of sports in the workout app, including soccer and American football, and route maps have been added to additional outdoor workouts like outdoor rowing and cross-country skiing. Okay. A nice, nice, good amount of sports stuff. I really like this, actually. Bullet. Create custom workouts for pool swim workouts with support for sets of work and recovery. All right, for pool swims, of course. Bullet. View the time left in your current interval and prepare for your next interval with what next workout view and custom workouts. Nice. Bullet. Customize your activity rings goals by the day of the week in the activity app. Okay, so you can so your activity rings based off a week with an activity app. That's actually really nice. Bullet. Nights. Pause your activity rings for a rest day, week, month, or more without affecting your award streak. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. Like, if I want to just wear my watch, but I want to pause so it doesn't ping me to stand or do none of that, um, I can actually do that, which is actually really nice. Bullet. Night. Personalize the summary tab in the fitness app on iPhone with metrics that are most important to you, like step distance, step count, running power, and more. List end. Cool. Translate. All right, now here's what the Translate app. Bullet. List. Dictate phrases and have them automatically translated and played out loud with support for 20 languages. All right. Bullet. Night. Easily access the Translate app with the widget in the smart stack, which will intelligently be added when traveling to a location where the language is different than your Apple Watch. Nice. Bullet. See the pronunciation of languages using the Latin alphabet to help make your interactions more conversational for Mandarin, CN Simplified, Japanese, and Korean. Okay. Bullet. Download languages to access offline translation without a cellular or Wi-Fi connection. Available on Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2. List end. And Apple Watch Series 10, of course, because that just came out. Tides. Bullet. List start. Moon. All right. Night the Tides thing was pretty cool when they announced this in the Apple event. Review tide data for over 115,000 beaches and 5,000 surf spots worldwide, including high and low tides, rising and falling tides, tide height and direction, and new tides app. All right, so the 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 um, high and low tide is cool here in the United States with the National Weather Service, but this is actually nice to see this within the actual app. Bullet. Discover beaches near your location with detailed map views or search for a beach by name. Okay, so you can search for a beach by name, like if I wanted to go to St. Augustine Beach or Jacksonville Beach or Daytona Beach or, um, you know, another beach near, like, say, on the Gulf Coast, Crystal River, Tampa, Clearwater Beach, of course, big tourist area. Or if I want to go down to the Keys, Key West, Key Largo, 
bullet, moon, customize your watch face with tide complications to show the current tide information for your favorite surf spot or the closest beach. List so end. when you go into like a workout at, at the beach or, or you just want to change your watch face, you could build a watch face for, for the beach. Smart stack. Smart stack. Bullet. List. View timely information in the smart stack with suggested widgets that will automatically appear intelligently using signals like time and date, location, wake up and bedtime, and more to determine priority. Bullet. Mo view up-to-date information from apps to see the progress of an activity, event, or task at a glance with live activities. Bullet. Interact with an app right from a widget in the smart stack. List end. Watch faces. Bullet. List. Create a dynamic photos watch face using image categories like people, pets, cities, or nature to intelligently curate the best photos from your iPhone based on aesthetics, composition, and facial expressions. Nice. Bullet. Visualize the passing of time with the flex watch face, which uses dynamic typography and color to fill the face from the bottom to the top as seconds count up. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Bullet. See how the reflections watch face reflects light with a metallic sunburst dial that changes in response to the movement of your wrist. Oh, cool. Bullet. Customize how time is displayed on Apple Watch with one of nine major Indian scripts. Bengali, Gujarati, Gurmukhi, Kannada, Malayalam, Nidhi, Odia, Alchiki, Telugu in three new languages, Burmese, Khmer. Urdu available on select watch faces, Astronomy, California, Memoji, Modular, Modular Dio, Modular Compact, Utility, World Time, and X Large. List end. Hmm, interesting. Sleep apnea notifications. All right, sleep apnea. Bullet. List. Receive possible sleep apnea notification when breathing disturbance data shows consistent signs of moderate to severe sleep apnea over a 30-day period. Available on Apple Watch Series 9 and later in Apple Watch Ultra 2. Bullet. Move. Estimate interruptions and in respiratory pattern during sleep with breathing disturbances metric, which is classified as elevated or not elevated. Bullet. No. Review shareable report for richer conversations with healthcare providers after receiving a sleep apnea notification. Okay, so, it, so when you need to actually get it diagnosed by a healthcare professional, you can actually link your data which is actually really nice for the people that do not know they have sleep apnea and they're diagnosed with it or the people that do have sleep apnea but the um their their treatments or however they deal with sleep apnea does not change um i do not have sleep apnea to my knowledge at this time bullet support for users 18 years or older without a previous diagnosis of sleep apnea list end okay so that would be good for me because i don't know if i do i'm gonna be curious if i do other features bullet lists start a check-in from messages workout controls or the smart stack to automatically alert friend or family member when you reach your destination after a predetermined time or when your workout ends nice bullet use maps on apple watch to view custom walking and hiking routes downloaded to your iphone and access turn by turn directions for your route even when offline actually that's really nice like i said in the ios 18 part of the video that's really nice to have Bullet. View relevant information about your tickets, like directions to parking, or show start times, with updates to tickets in wallet. Cool. Bullet. Scroll through any app like messages, mail, or weather, using the double-tap gesture, available on Apple Watch Series 9 and later in Apple Watch Ultra 2. Nice. Bullet. Use tap to cash to send money to someone by simply bringing your Apple Watch near their iPhone or Apple Watch, US only, available on Apple Watch Series 7 and later, Apple Watch SE, second generation, and all Apple Watch Ultra models. Okay. Yeah, my Apple Watch is out of that feature, especially for the you know, Series 6 that I have on my wrist right here. Bullet. Unlock your door on approach with your WB home keys without having to move Apple Watch close to the lock. Available on Apple Watch models with your WB. Okay. I don't know if my... I think my watch does, actually. Bullet. Browse personalized recommendations and discover new workouts and meditations with a simple navigation system that includes For You, Explore, Library, and Search. All right. So there you go. Bullet. Review current gestational age and log symptoms experienced during pregnancy and cycle tracking when you log a pregnancy in the health app on iPhone. Bullet. Access additional controls with remote including volume, power, Siri hold to talk, and more. List end. Some features may not be available for all countries or all... Of course, some features may not be available on all regions or on all Apple Watches. Um, I'll leave the both links and then the security update for iOS 17.7 .7 down below. Um, the support devices, like I said, I'll leave all that link down below. So you can go down in the description, see if your device is supported. Um, all, do all iPhones that got iOS 17 are getting iOS 18. The Apple Watch side, all Apple Watches excluding Series 5, Series SE first generation, and um, Series 4 are being dropped this year, but the Series SE second generation, Series 6 and newer are getting WatchOS 11, and um, iPads, the, the um, there are like, I believe two or three iPads that are staying on iPadOS 17 and not getting iPadOS 18. But thank you all so much for watching this video. It's long, but here we are. I don't want to waste your time anymore and um, leave a comment down below if you're excited to upgrade to 18. If you're not upgrading to 18, why or why not? And I will see you all in a future video. Peace.